Thank you for joining here on the Project Management Nation, where we talk about all things project. Today, we are going to continue our discussion around the use of ChatGPT in project management. Specifically, though, we're going to start to look at some agile uh, concepts and see how ChatGPT can help us with our agile practices. Today, we're going to look at specifically writing stories. So nobody likes to write stories. They're pretty simple to do once you get there. I saw some pretty surprising results and capabilities within ChatGPT to do that. We're going to explore that today. Thanks for being here. All right, here we are at our ChatGPT window. You'll notice that it's already pre-populated. That's because the first recording didn't go well. The service was running slow as well as the audio was bad. So we're going to just take a look at what it was able to finally report out. For those who have been following any of my other videos, I have a simple five uh, task list of things to do to help open an office internationally for the company. Uh, and uh, it's very basic. That's not a complete project plan. Didn't intend it to be, but I wanted to see what it can do to uh, break out user stories for each task. So I asked it to create user stories for those five. And what it did is for each of those five tasks, it created three user stories. From a business owner perspective, financial advisor, lawyer, CEO, facilities manager, real estate. So I love that it's taking a look at it from many different perspectives. So that's good. The bad news is, is that some of these are not especially valuable and not especially relevant. Um, as a CEO, I want to find an office space so that my company can expand. Okay, that's fine. But the CEO doesn't typically contribute to user stories. Um, and so there, there's just some, some tweaking that needs to be done. But the good news is, is that it came up with some ideas. So then I asked it, are there any other user stories we should consider for the office opening in Poland? I said, sure, here are some additional ones. And it actually created a number of them that are the same, um, but it did expand. We've got lawyers, financial advisors. I don't know why that would quite be in there, but I think as a, an internal finance person, that's what it was trying to say. Um, and then facility managers, real estate agents. So it started looking around and, and going more broadly at stories. So some of these would be worth throwing into our pile of stories. Some of these probably not. But what I realized is that there's nothing really from the, the user um, perspective, so the employees that are going to be in the office. So I asked it to please create user stories for end users in this scenario. Um, so it came up with, as an end user, I want to be informed about any changes or updates related to the legal entity. I don't think the end user necessarily cares. It came up with investor, customer, um, as an end user, I want to be informed about new office locations and any changes. So again, um, what I'm finding is that it created um, some good stuff, but I actually cancel it halfway because it wasn't wasn't really focusing in on that end employee experience. So I said, please create user stories from the employee perspective. So it's picked up where it left off with task three. As an employee, I want to be informed about new job opportunities within the company. Okay, that, that may be a worthwhile story. Um, as a hiring manager, I want to create clear and detailed job descriptions. Sure, but I think that was actually covered above. So it did reorient these to be internal user stories, which is good. Um, so the bottom line for me is uh, ChatGPT is a, absolutely a useful project assistant. Do you need a project assistant? It can be that. It can be a sounding board for helping you determine what needs to be done. But do not take it at face value. Put on your best thinking and be sure to uh, you know analyze these to make sure that they actually belong. But in a short amount of time, it spit out a lot of different user stories. And these user stories are actually in a good agile format. As a blank, I want to be able to do this. That's the that's a standal, standard agile format. So that's fantastic. Um, there are probably many other iterations that I could have used uh, for these stories or asked different questions in different ways. But you can see that you can just iterate and iterate and iterate until you get close to what you want. So that's a fantastic benefit um, with ChatGPT. So far, I think that it makes a great assistant 
as long as you put on your your thinking cap and make sure that it the things that it is saying are actually applicable. I hope that this was valuable to you. Please like this this video. Please subscribe. Um, my subscribership is growing and I really appreciate all those who are finding value in my videos. I want to keep making them. If you have suggestions, please let me know. Thank you so much.